Hi, fifth graders. We're going to be starting a new module, module eight. So we're gonna be on module eight, lesson one. We start on page 181. And we're going to begin by exploring groups of equal shares to show multiplication. So you're going to be able to find the fractional part of a group by using a visual model to solve a problem. So Aisha writes a children's story about quartets of cat musicians. So before I continue, Let's think about that. What is a quartet? Well, I noticed in that word, quart, right? And some words that I know, like there's a quart of milk, there's quarters, there's um, quarter of an hour. So if I think about that, quartets means four. So she's writing a children's book about quartets of cat musicians. So they're in groups of four. But in her story, one fourth of the cats in two quartets play the cello. How many cats in two quartets play the cello? So first we're gonna draw a picture. So first I need to think about this in terms of, well, first of all, how many cats are there? Well, if there are two quartets, and I know that one quartet has four, I'm going to have eight cats, right? Because there's these are two of my quartets. Then one fourth of the cats play the cello. So if one fourth of the cats play the cello, I can see that I could break these up into four groups of two. If I break these up into four groups of two, this is my whole, right? And then I have two cats in each part. So two of them play the cello. So that tells me that one, there, here's my one fourth. So that tells me that two cats play the cello because here's my one fourth right I need to break this up and how can I break this up so I have the same amount in each group and there are four groups because I need fourths so if I break it up into four groups of two then I know that two cats play the cello because this is one fourth of eight cats one fourth of eight cats means I'm going to take my four and I'm going to divide it I'm going to divide 8 by 4, so 8 divided by 4 is going to equal 2. So when I'm doing 1 fourth of something, I take my whole and I divide it by my denominator. Okay, so let's practice some of this. So after their concert, the cat quartet invites their friends to a party. Of the total number of cats shown, one six of the cats have striped tails. How many cats have striped tails? Well, first, let's see, how many total cats do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 cats that are at the party, and we know that one sixth of them have striped tails. So our problem is one sixth of 12. So if I have 12, I'm going to draw our picture again, and we want them in sixths. So we want in group, in six groups, and there are two in each group. So if I have one sixth, then I would have two cats that have striped tails. And the reason I know this is because 1 6 of 12 is the same thing as I'm going to say 12 divided by 6 because there's this fraction here, right? 12 divided by 6, and that's going to equal 2 cats. And I can see that with my picture. Here's my whole broken up into sixths, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I only want 1 sixth and that there are two cats in there, 
That tells me that there are two cats with striped tails. Okay, so we're not going to answer these questions because we've got the picture and we talked it through up here. So how many cats have striped tails? We're just going to put two cats. Okay. Four more cats join the party. Of the cats shown, three-fourths have solid color tails. How many cats have solid color tails? So we started with 12 cats and four more joined, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So now we have 16 cats. So we're going to have three-fourths of 16. So I'm going to need groups of four. I'm going to need my 16 cats into groups of four. Or I need four groups, sorry. I need four groups. And it just happens to come out to four groups of four. So I can see that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of my cats have solid color tails. Now, before, when we had a one as our numerator, we just had to divide by the bottom number. Now that we have a number up here as our numerator, the first thing you have to do is multiply six times three, or 16 times three, I mean, which 6 times 3 is 18, and that's so 48. Now, I'm going to take my 48 and divide by 4. And that's how I get my 12 cats. So when I have a number up here, first I'm going to have to multiply, and then take that answer, and then divide. So first I multiply by the numerator, then I divide by the denominator. Okay? So we have 12 cats that have solid color tails. So we're going to practice down here. So at 9 o'clock, 5 eighths of the 16 cats at a party go home. How many cats go home at 9 o'clock? So if I have 5 eighths of 16. So remember, the first thing I do, multiply. So what is 16 times 5? 6 times 5 is 30. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So I now I have 80. Then... I'm going to take that answer and I'm going to divide by the num or the denominator. 80 divided by 8 equals 10. So the number of cats that go home are 10 cats. So remember we multiply by the numerator, then take that answer and divide by the denominator when we're looking at this type of a problem. 5 eighths of, 3 fourths of, 1 sixth of. Okay, Walt has 20 $1 bills. He uses 3 fifths of his $1 bills to pay for a new winter hat. How much does Walt pay for his new winter hat? So he has how many $1 bills? He has 20, and he uses 3 fifths. So this would be 3 fifths of 20. So my first step, I take my numerator, and I multiply it by 20. 3 times 20 equals 60. Second step, take my answer, divide by 5, 60. Divided by 5 equals 12. So 
So $12 is how much he uses to buy his hat. Okay. Seth buys a carton of eggs. Find the number of eggs in each fraction of the total. Well, first of all, how many eggs does he have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So he has eight. He bought a carton of 18 eggs. So two-thirds of the eggs. So two times 18 is your first step. That's 36. 36 divided by 3. Oops. 36 divided by 3 equals 12 eggs. 5 6 of the eggs. So first, multiply by the numerator. 18 times 5, or 5 times 18, equals... 8 times 5 is 40, 5 times 1 is 5, plus, and so 90. 90 divided by 6 equals 15. And you might have to do this on the side. You might have to do your multiplication. Figure that out, right? And then do your division. Okay? You might have to do that. All right, one ninth. So one times 18 is 18. So then 18 divided by nine equals two. And then six ninths of the eggs. 6 times 18 108 and then 108 divided by 9 equals 12 okay well, I'm not going to draw a visual model because we know the the formula to use so I'm going to do 2 times 15, which equals 30. 30 divided by 5 equals 6. So our answer is 6. Remember, multiply. 12 times 5 equals 60, and then divide by the denominator. 60 divided by 6 equals 10. We're not going to use the number line. We're just going to do the work. 7 times 24, 168, 168 divided by 8 equals 21. Okay? So, for your independent work, if it says draw a visual model and you want to draw a visual model, go ahead and draw one. If you want to just do it with the formula by multiplying by the numerator and dividing by the denominator, you go ahead and use the formula that you need to use to solve these problems. Um, you don't need to explain, just do the work. So just do the work. You don't have to draw a picture unless you want to draw a picture. And then you're going to complete the work. All right. So you're going to be doing 8.1. When you are finished, turn it into me at school. And I will see you soon. Bye.